Welcome back. Now, members of parliament are preparing to debate a bill seeking to increase the maximum allowable speed on Kenyan roads. The bill seeks to raise the limit on dual carriageways from, get this, 110 kilometers per hour to 130. But is Kenya, which has one of the highest traffic accident rates, ready for this? Let's pose that question now to our Kimani Mbogwa, our traffic correspondent, at least that's what we call him here. Kimani, are we ready for this? Well, Wahiga, that's a question that everybody needs to ask themselves, as a motorist especially. Are you ready for a speed of 130 kilometers per hour? Now, the MP who proposed this bill is called Jude Jomo. He's the MP for Kiambu Central. And I've spoken to him this morning and he says he was inspired by or whatever inspired the bill is that Kenya, we are still using uh, laws that restrict speed limits from the 70s. But then he says there's been a lot of growth with infrastructure and also in terms of vehicle manufacturing, some vehicles can be able to cruise at speeds well over 130 and still be stable on the roads. Uh, but then a lot of people have been arrested with speeding anywhere in, in this country. If you do a speed of 110 kilometers per hour, you're, you're going to be in trouble with the law. And a lot of people have been in trouble with the law. So this morning I've been speaking to motorists to find out if they are ready for it. And here are some of their comments on, uh, on, the, act, on the law, on the bill, which has already gone through its first reading in Parliament. Uh, we're still waiting to see whether it's going to go through. But here are some sentiments from motorists this morning on whether it is a good idea, whether they're ready for it or not. Uh, actually, this is true. The highways are so improved and uh, the vehicles these days are big vehicles and uh, they, they, it's, it's very comfortable to go from 110 to 130. That is very possible. And uh, so the limit of 110 is, is too slow. It's too slow, actually. Okay. So people, the motorists have suffered because of that, because their vehicles are very fast and uh, the, the speed limit is fairly low. So the increase from uh, 110 to 130 is I also recommend the same. I've never been uh, arrested because of overspeeding and I don't think that uh, increasing the speed from 110 to 130 is of any benefit. I mean the motorist should be left maybe to be able to, I mean, to, to take control of, uh, of their speed. But uh, the 110 should remain, yeah. So you don't think it, it should be increased? No, 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 I don't think so. 110 for control of every one of us is okay. I think the bill uh, for in increasing the speed limit from 110 to to 130, it is, it is not okay. On the Kenyan roads, it it needs to be maybe separated uh, which particular highways it can be allowed and which particular highways it cannot be allowed. For example, on Tika Super Highway, you can allow up to even 150. But when you, when you come to other highways, like uh, maybe you're moving to Nakuru or to, uh, to uh, Narok, the road is not that straight. And uh, with a number of uh, people who are crossing or animals, uh, increasing to 130 will increase the, maybe the, the, the accidents. All right, so some, some of the sentiments from motorists this morning on how uh, whether they're ready for it. Some of them are, some of them are not. And uh, the issue really is with discipline with motorists and how how able are we as motorists to maintain a, a certain speed and to maintain, uh, you know, the the current restrictions. To be, are we disciplined enough to keep it at that? Remember, the NTSA has released uh, stats this year from accidents on the, on the highways mostly. And at this year, it stands at 1,410 people have been killed on the highways. So that's again another issue. You see, there, there are places like this where I'm standing at. This is Mlolongo. This is supposed to be a highway. This is Mombasa Road. And if you're doing 130 and you're on, on these places, the design of the road itself, for example, here, there's a bump. So if you're coming at 130, how, how good are you going to be at slowing down for someone who's about to cross the road? So those are some of the issues really that are, that are going to be, you know, a bit challenging with the bill. But then some motorists say they're ready for it. It's, 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 it's a good idea because some, some cars can do that. But the bigger picture is that the, with the kind of accidents that are happening, will it uh, be a good thing or a bad thing on uh, the roads where he goes? So we're still waiting to see. Uh, it's supposed to, uh, the, the MP has said it's going to, uh, Jude Njobo has said that it's already gone through the first reading. So they're waiting to see what the MPs are going to have to say about uh, the, the speed limit, Mwahiga.